so I, actually, I'm going to bring up an example of where I feel like there's no say in a relationship. So I have a friend and she has a you know taste for the nice, finer things in life, right? And she dates men who are really well off. Now, this becomes an issue because, well, every time she dates them, she hardly has a say in things. Like almost to a point where it's it's really bad. She feels anxious. She feels terrible because, well, it's it's also, you know, she's asking for it because she's looking for these kind of men. But, you know, like they decide what to do. They decide where to eat. They decide where to stay. They, they, they decide everything, okay? And I think the only thing she can decide is like what she's going to wear to <laughs> to see them. That's about it because they even pay for her tickets Mm -hmm. to travel. And I feel like there comes a point where you kind of have to stop and say, look, I need to kind of show that I'm worth more than just money. Mm -hmm. You can't just buy me, right? So I've told her many times that you have to establish yourself. You can't let the guy pay for everything. Thing is, you know, they kind of insist, even Mm -hmm. though when she offers, they insist. But I think it's become a habit already. And it's also hard for her to break that habit. But it will really pose a problem in the future because she does not have a say in many things. And it's already starting now. Imagine how it's going to be like in the future. I'm going to jump in with my own example. Okay, I have a friend who she's a very strong personality and she likes going for guys who are softer I guess, more submissive. So for example, concrete example, the guy will be carrying her things. I, I, I don't want to say like the guy's kind of a lap dog, but for example, the last say will be her. If ever she has issues, she'll voice out her issues. The guy would kind of be quiet and be like, I'm sorry, but he's not going to fight back. And I guess it really did cause a strain in their relationship to the point where they had to break up because of other things, not just that. But my point is, there was some sort of inequality during their relationship, which was very evident to everyone. I guess not to them. They didn't see it that way until after they broke up when they looked back and reflected. But I think that a lot of their issues, you could kind of root back to that. So this happens in a lot of relationships. And even if you aren't really seeing it, I mean... I wouldn't say that this is super common, like every relationship will have this. You know, sometimes you'll be lucky you won't because you'll just, you'll effortlessly match. But there are some relationships where it really is a problem. And I think that, you know, it's important to realize it, to see if there is this kind of thing that's happening in your relationship because it's easy to kind of just, I don't know, take it as it is. You know, you don't really see it because you're so used to the dynamic. (laughs) <laughs> we're kind of we're kind of just freestyling honestly we didn't really plan okay. this episode that's okay it's okay yeah no i agree with you i agree with you a lot i think that you know you have to kind of reflect and say okay do i have this in my relationship do i have mm-hmm. this problem right now and i feel like i've had relationships where i feel like i wasn't or i didn't have as much say as i do now mm-hmm. so there are moments where you have that and i really feel like honestly guys um reflect look at your relationships and let your partner shine okay i'll give another example yeah concrete example because this topic is kind of vague so i guess we have to like really give concrete examples for you to like visualize like is this me i know a couple where for example the last say will always be the girl so for example the guy would be like i want to do this and this and this and then the girl would be like no because blah 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 or Let's say his friends go like, hey, you want to hang out and blah, blah, blah. And then he goes, oh, I have to ask, you know, my partner. Things like that. Point is, even if the guy wants his own thing, the girl usually has the last say. And I guess guy might feel, impo- uh, sorry, in a way like emasculated. emasculated. Okay, well, no, okay. But that's another thing actually I wanted to mention. Um, Like what you said, um, you asking your partner if it's okay to go out. Now, there's a difference between feeling out of control, out of power, and there's respecting your partner's wishes and respecting what your partner might want, right? Mm -hmm. So for example, with me, in many cases, I ask Danny, you know, certain things like permission or stuff, not because I feel like I can't just do it myself, but because I respect her enough to want to have her approval or her opinion on something. Mm -hmm. So there's also that difference. It's about respect too. So you need to realize, are you doing it out of respect or are you doing it out of, I would say guilt even because you feel like you can't do anything or fear yeah so you have to also look into that and just really reflect are you doing this to your partner or are you receiving this from your partner if you guys want to check out the full episode click the link on the screen or head on over to spotify apple podcasts or wherever podcasts are available thanks for listening and we'll see you soon